well. I was a gymnast. I was that girl who was into Girl Scouts, who got a full scholarship in gymnastics to college, all American, the whole bit, but I always wanted to dance. So as soon as I graduated college, I headed back to New York, auditioning crazy, still working the nine to five, and uh, got a tour. My first tour was the Key Sweat Tour, um, Triple Threat with uh, BBD and Johnny Gill. And also at that time, just before I started dancing for a house artist by the name of Jay Williams, and that's when house music was the shh. We're talking, you know, uh, a diva and Jomanda and all of them, and they're doing all the clubs in New York, and everybody used to come around, and labels started handing me their cards, and do you dance, do you choreograph? featured in a lot of videos. One of my first major videos was of course LL's Around the Way Girl, but there's a cool Mo D God made me funky video that's in there too, and you'll see myself and Jennifer Lopez and Darren DeWitt Hanson up in that video, and then some house music video stuff. So that's kind of how I got my start. Back in the day, hip hop dances were dances. You know, and in the industry, people back then respected dances. They wanted girls to come out, you know, harder than Big Daddy Kane's boys. You know what I'm saying? Doing it and flipping it and carrying it on. And, and that's what myself and people like Josie Harris and Fatima Robinson and my girl Tish brought to the tables. Like we were dancers. And when labels would step to us or when film directors would step to us, they wanted hardcore dancing. You know, when you see the BBD girls. Poison, poison, poison. talking hours of rehearsal, we're talking people who could dance, not just move well, not just had a big ass and light eyes and a long weave in their hair, we're talking people who could get busy. And the fans and the viewers really respected that. 